Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the LG F4V309 WNW 9kg washing machine. Now normally I'm pretty good at remembering some of the model numbers, but it's taken me several takes to do this, so I just thought I'm going to read it off the energy label. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about this washing machine. And what I want to do is I want to show you some of the features and benefits that it offers. And if you're in the market for quite a large capacity washing machine, then why this could be one to choose. Anyway, just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. So as far as the dimensions on the washer, first of all, the width of it, you're looking at 59 and a half centimeters, just under 60 centimeters, or around 23 and a half inches. The height, this should be pretty standard at around 85 centimeters, or just under 33 and a half inches. Now the main thing that varies on washing machines are the depth, so front to back. And on this one, we're looking, so you have to go back a little bit further than the lip on the back, because you have got the, some of the, the pipe work, and there is a slight bulge around the back as well. So if you go into the very front here, then you're looking around 59 centimeters, or just over 23 inches. Or if you're including the door, then, because it does protrude a little bit, then you're looking around 60, about 63 centimetres or just under 25 inches. So all I'd recommend if you're looking at buying this machine or any washing machine really, just have a quick measure up, make sure it'll fit in before you buy it. So when you first turn the machine on, it sings a little song like that. And what it will do is it will give you the, a really nice LED display on the front here. Uh, I must say this is a really nice one. The, the figures on here are really big, nice and clear with the white LED. Uh, for each program, it'll give you the duration of the or the time that's due uh, for the program. So as you can see, it changes for each program. And these are some of the quicker programs, and then some of the you got some of the longer programs around the side here. So the first program to look at is the cotton program. Now this one is quite a it's quite a generic program. Uh, this is a really good one if you are going to do a full load. Uh, now with this one, so you can change the temperature. You can adjust the temperature across the whole range. So it does go from cold, 20 degrees, 30, 40, 60, and all the way up to 95. Uh, now with this one, as I say, you can wash the full nine kilograms. Just uh, to let you know, if you were to wash the, the full nine kilograms on say a 20 degree, then that will consume around 55 liters of water. And if you're good to go up to 60 degrees, then that will consume around 57 litres of water. As we go on to the next programme, this is the Eco 40 to 60. And with this one, uh, this is a longer programme. So this one, if you're doing a full capacity of 9 kilograms, take around 3 hours 48 minutes. So it's quite a, quite a duration of a programme. Uh, but the main thing to consider is that it will consume around 63 litres of water. So it is a little bit more than the cotton programme. Uh, I must say, I will be honest, that normally it's the other way around. So normally the cotton program will consume or will use more water than the Eco 40 to 60. So I'm not quite sure why it's changed on this machine. Uh, and also the, so the spin speed is a maximum 1400 spin. Uh, but the energy usage is a little bit less. It's 1.01 kilowatt hours of electricity compared to on the cotton 60 degrees where you're looking around 1.3. So it varies a little bit but I'm quite surprised that the water consumption is that way around. Anyway, as you go around to the mixed fabric, that's the next program to have a look at. This one has a maximum capacity of up to 4 kilograms and that will take an hour and 21 minutes uh, and the water consumption is around 54 litres. So what is quite interesting it, just having a look at that, is that the mixed fabric pro program uh, at 54 litres will consume around the same amount of water as uh, the cotton program, a 9 kilogram load, uh, say if you're doing it around the same temperature, uh, between 20 and 40 degrees, then that will use a, pretty much exactly the same amount of water. So if you are looking at um, water consumption, then personally I'd recommend going for the cotton program. As you come around to the Easy Care, that's the next one to have a look at. Then this one, uh, you can vary the temperature. So you don't quite get the same maximum temperatures. 
as uh, on some of the other programs. Next program is a silent wash. Now this is ideal uh, basically if you're going to use it during the night or if you wanted to use it during the day when say people are sleeping then this could be an ideal program for you. I mean these machines are very quiet anyway. Uh, you'll find especially as they use an inverter motor that they are very energy efficient and very quiet. But this is just a, a program that has less noise and less vibration than other washing programs. And this is ideal for things like lightly soiled uh, white cottons. Uh, and then as you come on to the hygiene program, so this is ideal for washing clothes at a high temperature. And that just sticks at 60 degrees. So that's just the, just the one program, uh, sorry, one temperature. Uh, you will also find that with the hygiene program that has a maximum capacity of up to four kilograms. As you come on to the baby care, so similar principle, it just sticks to 60 degrees and it has a maximum load of up to four kilograms. Uh, and this is ideal for washing things like baby clothes with a gentle motion and it has had a slightly better performance. And as you come in, you've got options like the rinse and spin. That's always a, always a nice option. And this is where it's starting to display some of the uh, the times on here. Uh, tub clean, so some manufacturers call it drum clean, uh, LG have decided to call it tub clean, I suppose a bit more a bit more American sounding, uh, but the I suppose the idea of this is it just helps to keep the machine clean. Uh, this is, you don't put any clothes in, so you don't select temperature or spin speed, you don't, you don't do that. All you do is you just put the machine on, uh, it will select the temperature for you, and then it would just help to keep the machine clean. This is recommended probably once a month. Most, most manufacturers will recommend this. And personally, I'd recommend doing it from the word go. So even if you've had it after a month, put it onto the tub clean program and just set a reminder every month to, to do that to get the best performance out of the machine long term. Next one to have a look at is the duvet program. Uh, with this one, this has a maximum load of up to two and a half kilograms. So it's quite a small load. Uh, but clearly if you're just going to put uh, large items, things like bed covers, pillows, sofa covers, things like that into it. And what this would do, this works in a slightly different way, that it will uh, wash everything slightly differently and also spin especially. Uh, a lot of modern machines struggle to spin a one large item. So if you were to put, the, the common thing we get is people want to test their washing machine by washing the bath mat. And this has always been an issue because you've got one large item that holds a lot of water and it's over one side of the drum and it can't uh, distribute the load. Uh, the best way to do it is to put other items in with it. Uh, but some people don't really understand that. That if you want to wash your bath mat, stick a couple of towels in with it and then what it can do is it can distribute the load evenly. Anyway, this is where the duvet program can really help because this is designed for things like this, so it's designed for uh, large items such as duvet covers, bed covers, pillows and sofa covers. Next program is the Speed 14, so as it says it's a super quick 14 minute program. Uh, it's only for a maximum load of up to 2 kilograms and the temperature will vary between 20 and 40 degrees and clearly that makes a little bit of a difference on the time because it's got to heat the water up. Uh, and with this one, as I mentioned, it's only up to two kilograms, uh, so you're not going to be able to do a full load in there in 20 minutes. Uh, there are some manufacturers that are claiming that you can do a full load in around 20 to 30 minutes. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of those because I think the washing performance in that time won't be that great. And you'll find that although it's doing the washing load, the actual performance and how well it gets your clothes clean won't be that good, especially long term. Also the spin speed on that one, you can go up to 1400 spin, but again, it's going to add extra time onto it. Uh, the next program is the sportswear program. Now this has a maximum load of up to three kilograms. And this is good for things like your football kits, your rugby kits, uh, and also for things like water repellent fabrics. Next program is the hand and wool program. Now this is designed for hand washable fabrics uh, and machine washable delicates. Uh, as you can see on here, it's around 36 minutes and the temperatures do hover between cold and up to 40 degrees. Clearly if you're going to be washing things like woolens, you don't want to be going any more than 40. 
uh, and again you've got a maximum load of up to two kilograms and then finally you've got delicate program and that goes between cold and 40 degrees uh, and then you've got maximum load of up to three kilograms so hopefully I've covered well I've covered a lot of the program all of the programs uh, once you've selected the program that you want then all you need to do is just press start you have got some other options along the bottom here so first of all you've got the intensive option uh, that's really good if you've got heavily soiled items that you just want to add some extra time into it uh, the next one is rinse plus that's good if you've got somebody in the household that suffers with things like allergies and if you want to give the clothes an extra spin or sorry an extra rinse at the end of the program then that's really one to choose uh, pre-wash uh, it's something that not many people tend to use now uh, we tend to find if you've got things like dirty football kits or rugby kits then that could be a good one that just increases the the wash time uh, delay end so that will delay the start of the program and that's where you can well it's actually delaying the end of the program so I'll just go through that again uh, as we go up to that um, it goes up to so 19 so 19 hours it can extend it by um, I suppose a little bit strange most manufacturers go to 24 hours I'm not quite sure why LG have decided to go for 19 hours if you know why or why do you think it'll be 19 let me know in the comments and you've got an option here called add item that's mainly once the program has started if you wanted to say add a couple of socks in that you've forgotten to put in then as long as the water level hasn't gone too high and it's not too far into the program press the add item and then you should be able to pause the machine and then just pop those other bits in so now I've covered the programs and pretty much everything that's on the display there I'll show you the soap drawer so it's quite a standard soap drawer you've got the pre-wash main wash conditioner and you can take it out as well so if you want to take it out to give it a good clean then that's easily done and then once you're done with that then just pop it back in what I'd always recommend if you are going to give this a really good clean so if you want to put this part in the dishwasher then don't put this part in as well because you'll see from here that it's got quite a, a nice shiny uh, gloss finish on it that really matches up with the rest of the fascia if you start to put that in uh, in the dishwasher on a, on a really high temperature then uh, I've seen it before where it goes like a matte finish so fortunately what LG have done is you can just unclip this and just pop the main soap drawer into your dishwasher and as I say that just pops in like that to open the doors nice and easy all you do is just put the put your hand around the other side and then pull it uh, and I'm pleased to see that the the door goes almost all the way back it's not quite 180 degrees but it's well out the way to load the clothes into it now the porthole size on this is quite a good size it's 31 centimeters or around 12 inches uh, something I always try and point out because there's nothing worse than having a really small door on a machine especially on a knife capacity load like this and then at the bottom here you've got access to the pump as well and you've got a little cheekless drain hose so if you do need to just can't let me just move the camera down there we go so i just show that again so this is the the little door and you've got access to the pump and the filter here and as i say you've got this little hose and what that enables you to do if you had a power cut or if you needed to drain the machine then you've got this here you just put a bowl or a cloth or something underneath and then start to empty the machine just show you around the back of the washer because if you're going to install it yourself it could be useful to know the location of everything first of all you've got the mains that's at the top left here you've got the waste that's at the bottom left and then towards the top right you've got the water connection now you do get a, a new hose with it that's included with the washer uh, also you've got the four transit bolts these are imperative to take out you have to take them out of the machine because if you don't then it will damage the machine and that will not be covered under the manufacturer's warranty just show you the energy label on the machine this is a B rating uh, which actually for this price range is actually very good uh, what I recommend is have a look around others around others around this sort of price range uh, and you'll see that a B energy rating is actually very good uh, it consumes around 85 kilowatt hours uh, per 100 cycles also just proving that it is a 9 kilogram load the 3 hours 48 that was for the programs to show you the eco 40 to 60 
and around 50 litres of water as well. Uh, also it shows you the noise level at 73 decibels. If you're thinking of buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the LG F4V309WNW washing machine. Again, I'm normally pretty good at remembering some of the model numbers. This is one that I really struggled with, so I've just reverted back to the energy label for the model number. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'd always ask, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave any comments below. Uh, if you've got any questions on the washing machine, I've got one on display at the moment, so I can come and have a look for you. Also, if you have got one of these, if you've got an LG washing machine, uh, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.